inshallah one I'd like to say all praise is due to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, of whom I learned this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. My name's Karnawak from GMS Toronto. Doing a quick lesson in regards to uh, North Korea. You know, things are getting intense. Um, you know, we, we know we're approaching uh, the times of World War III, where there's going to be a uh, all out war you know and it's already been prophesied you know um revelation you know revelation um you know it says woe 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 and um no let me get that all right because uh we're in that time and um uh, you know things are getting intense on the earth um the climate of war is rampant and um yeah you get that quick scripture quick i think revelation uh revelation 9 and uh sarah 12 Woe is pa one woe is past, and behold, there cometh two woes more hereafter. All right, so we know that World War One, you know, that's prophesied, right? Well, well, which would be nineteen fourteen to like nineteen eighteen, um, um, very intense civil war, right? And um. You know, they thought that, you know, that World War One was going to be the war of all wars. But um, then uh, this, you know, World War Two, which would be uh, like 1938 to like 19, 1942 or that time with uh, the Germans and, you know, um, a great civil war, you know, with the Nazis and... Uh, you know, because um, with the uh, what does he call it? Adolf Adolf Hitler. You know, with that, with the Nazis, the Nazis and all that. You know, um, now um, fast forward and now, you know, um, you know, the Nazis or whatever they're uh with the you know operation paperclip you know where basically uh the german scientists they basically uh you know you know they, they did a, a big experiment you know with um with the little bomb and and big bomb and little bomb you get that quick slot yeah Yeah, we know that World War Two, you know, after World War Two, they uh, the German scientists, um, you know, they basically, uh, you know, like they did their experiment, and um, basically they did a uh, a trial run, they did an experiment on the on the people, you know, with Hiroshima, and Nagasaki, and um, you know, a lot of people died. A lot of people got ailments and still, you know, and, um, you know, and they did their big uh, experiment, you know, but now, but now there is nuclear, 
All right, it's not gonna be, it's not atomic. Now we're in a nuclear climate, All right? Because they uh, perfected, you know, this technology, all right? And this technology was given by Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, little boy, all right? Was a code name for the type of atomic bomb dropped on the J Japanese city of Hiroshima, of Hiroshima on the 6th of August 1945 during the World War II. It was the first nuclear weapon used in the warfare, right? And I believe that they also used this little, you know, this atomic bomb here uh, in New Mexico, man. You know, so I'm sure that they, I'm sure they tried it on, on the Gadites over there man in new mexico man you know but um you know but they did it here in hiroshima you know in japan all right so th like that's why you know um like the japanese you know like they still have that beef with the americans man you know because what they have done unto them man so you know It says, um, August, the 6th of August, 1945, during World War II, it was the first nuclear weapon used in warfare. The bomb was dropped by the Boeing B-29 Super, Super, for, like, Super Fort, Super Fortress, in Inoige, it's a pilot by Colonel Paul the We T Bigger Jr. Commanded of uh, yeah goes into that you know look at this images here. This where this mushroom cloud, all right? You get that. So yeah. So Revelation nine and twelve. One woe is past, and behold, there come with two woes more hereafter. So we know that World War One, all right? We're now 1914, to like 1918, a great, um, uh, a great war, you know, and then a, a World War Two. You know, where um, these German scientists, you know, um, Operation Paperclip, you know, they basically, uh, you know, they're, they're doing their research and they uh, created a nuclear bomb, the atomic bomb, right? And uh, now we're approaching World War Three, and uh, this is going to be a nuclear war. All right, and um, all nations have that have that weapon, you know, um, you know, in China, you know, North Korea, you know, um, you know, Japan, you know, Russia, you know. And, uh, yeah, and um, things are going to get a lot more intense. And uh, we know that um, the Lord's holding back the four winds, right? Because certain elect still have to be sealed and uh, prophecy has to be played out fully. I and mean, we know we're approaching the time where in, um, the MOTB, the CHIP, is approaching. And uh, it's going to get a lot more intense. Um, let me get that Isaiah the Isaiah the Isaiah so lucky yeah. I have created the Smith yeah
looking at Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54 verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his for his work and i have created the waster to destroy right so this uh the atomic bomb which was created by uh the germans right you know with operation paperclip and um operation paper clip not for any new brothers and stuff because um, this is a uh, very vast man and um, you know but they know that this weapon it was created by uh, was created by the heavenly father basically to destroy you know these nations right and to bring upon uh, the new world like the new world of uh, Israel, all right. It says Operation Paperclip was a secret United States intelligence pr program in which more than uh, once, more than 160 Nazi German scientists engineered and and then technical. It's like a and and it's like a, and tech tacticians were taken from Nazi Germany to the United States for government employee employment after the end of World War Two in Europe between 1945 and 1959. Right, so um, basically. After the World War Two, a lot of the German they came here to America, and a lot of the the so-called Nazi scientists they went to Russia, right, to do a lot of experiments and to create, you know, nuclear weapons, right, or atomic weapons, which are now nuclear weapons, all right, is uh, even more uh, powerful. That's why they're doing a lot of uh, tests here with uh, with the with the you know that like Russia they like a couple week, I think last week or so they did a uh, a trial run, um, and then also um, basically uh, the North Korean uh, guy uh, Kim Jin, Kim Jong or whatever, he basically uh, he was trying. He's using, uh, he, he did a little trial run in Japan. All right, they did a little trial run right there, you know, like right by the, uh, the, the, sort show, right by the shoulders of, of Japan, or, uh, basically, but, um, yeah. And, uh, intelligence objection agencies. And it is it's like a joint intelligent upper upper objective agencies. It was largely carried out of special agents of the U.S. Army's um, counter intelligent intelligent like a counter intelligence corps. Many of these personal were formed former members and some were former leaders of the nazi party this goes more into more in, in depth all right no clear work no clear Said Putin threatens have nuclear experts watching closely. All right, this is, uh, this is off of CBC News. Let me go off that. CBC News they have pretty much good 
good information. Um, also, Robin Slaka, also Russian leader, to finalize his plan to annex four Ukrainian regions, even as his forces are pushed back. All right, and then uh, Russia President Vladimir Putin watched a military exercise outside Vlad Vlad Vladivostok on September 6, putting threats to the U.S. All the all the means of all the means at our like disposal to defend his country as it will wage war in ukraine have cranked up global hairs that he might use his nuclear arsenal says uh with russia losing ground in ukraine is in in in, in ukraine's east and south even as it claims to be annexed it says Kremlin watched and faced with a pressure a pressure question will President Vladimir Putin pull the nuclear trigger you see all right and uh, we are approaching these times and it's already uh, been written it's been prophesied you know that uh you know the prophet uh slakia the prophet ezekiel all right during the time of the babylonian captivity he wrote this he, he wrote these things down all right and to warn all right and um right now everything what uh the prophet ezekiel and the prophets were, you know, uh, Obadiah, you know, you know, uh, the prophets, you know, uh, everything what the prophets been warning and prophesying about is 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 gonna happen, man. And um, you know, so uh, things are gonna get a lot more severe. And um, yeah, because. Uh, the only thing that we're gonna basically uh i know i know perfect i know basically uh the only thing that we have to basically uh just watch for is the prophecies you know with the whole motb and uh c hip you know and um you know and uh basically when the sea hip comes basically you know like that's when jacob's trouble is gonna come you know and then uh you know and basically world war three and uh and it's that time the lord uh you know the lord's gonna have to do a divine intervention because uh right now you know things are gonna get a lot more intense you know only the elect the one third is gonna be saved man you know from this uh on the upcoming upcoming destruction man you know that's gonna try the earth all right said um isaiah let's look at ezekiel 38 and 1 the word of the lord came unto me saying son of man set thy face against gog against the land of magog which is the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and the prophesy against him. All right, so we know that Gog, which be basically located in the land of Russia today. All right, we know that the Japhites, you know, the Japhites were like, like pretty much, it, like they were driven out, and they went to like different places, right? Where uh, basically, um, you know, the Indonesian people you know uh filipino and whatever um what do you call that other one too new guinea and you know solomon islands and you know like a lot of those are the Japhites. you know there's jakes there's jakes who spring who's who sprinkled amongst them but uh we know that 
And now the real now the inhabitants of the land are the are the Russians, right? Which would be uh which is basically run by uh, these Edomites. Alright. It says, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and prophesy against him, saying, Thus saith the Lord Power, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. Alright. Alright, that's why it's good to also go into certain maps, biblical maps. Alright, because we know that this is referring to, uh, you know, Russia or the USSR, as what it's called. Mashak drawing out. See, like Mashak, which means drawing out. Son of Japheth, grand, grandson of Noah, the progenitor of the people, the people of the north of Israel, descendant of Mashak, of mentioned in the is in connection with Tubal, Magog. All right. And nation including Mashi, like Mashai, and people on the border of of Kalesh and Armenia. All right, that's in that Black Sea region. All right, the other Armenians and stuff. You know, and I will turn thee back, and I will put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee f forth, and all thy army and horsemen. Horses and horsemen, right? So we know that with the, the USSR, right? The Soviet Union. Let me get that slug here. So the Soviet Union, right? Soviet Union, um, officially the the Union of Soviet U Soviet Socialist Republic was a trans like a, a trans con transcontinental country that sp that spanned much of Eurasia from nineteen twenty two to nineteen ninety one. Right, so they had their time. Right, and they basically uh, it's a mass of of nations, you know, throughout Europe, you know, which would be northern Europe, you know, which they uh basically um controlled, right? And they're basically uh now with the you know, with the Russian Rep uh, that the Russian Federation whatever and now they're back right and uh, like that's why they're basically uh, you know like that's why the thing with with Ukraine is is getting real because uh, basically Russia they want their territory back right so th this all it's all already prophecy it's all prophesied all right so it says and I will turn thee back and put hoax into thy jaws and I will bring thee forth, and all thine army, horses and horsemen, and all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, and even a great company of buckler and shields, and all of them handling swords. So that's why now, you know, Russia, they're back, and they're basically gonna push this, uh, this war, you know, and uh, like that's why. Russia is basically the bear when you go into certain uh, when you go into the scriptures, you know, and uh, basically that's gonna bring, uh, you know, like they're gonna basically draw out, you know, these people, man, you know, like these countries and stuff. But basically, uh, America, you know, for uh, you know, you know, like to fight against uh, the bear. All right, so it's gonna be a all-out war, man. Persia, right? We know Persia, it's Iran, you know, Ethiopia, Libya, with them, and and all of them with shield and helmets. All right, hold on, slacker. 
yeah so persia ethiopia libya and all of them with all shields and helmets um a flagship it says it says um stuck here see see this is their territory right here man they have a big territory all right and this is the soviet union all right so we know that ukraine was a part of the soviet union you know but america they basically uh like they don't want russia to get back their territory right so that's why there's gonna be all out war and uh and everything is lining up with the with the scriptures you know and it's gonna get a lot more intense let me put in Slakia. Yeah. Slakia. Yeah. Do you have way too much stuff in your condo? Well, it's time to declutter your home and get rid of the stuff that you're not using. North Korea has launched a missile over Japan, sparking anger in Tokyo. It defies a UN Security Council resolution ban on missile launches. The rocket came down in the Pacific Ocean and there are no reports of damage. Stephanie Prentice reports. It's a familiar sight, North Korea testing its missiles, but Monday's launch was different. For the first time since 2017, a missile flew all the way over Japan. The latest launch, the fifth in a week, has been strongly condemned by South Korean and Japanese officials. North Korea's actions, including the repeated ballistic missile launches, are a threat to the peace and security of our country, region, and international community. And it's a serious challenge for our country and the entire international community. People in Japan awoke to messages warning them to take shelter as rocket fragments landed in the Pacific Ocean. It's a serious escalation of military action as North Korea tests its rockets as well as the patience of its neighbors. There are three things you can do, and one is the kind of diplomatic statements you're hearing we condemn it maybe there's another resolution at the at the united nations security council um yeah you see all this now this is going to lead to a all-out civil war even though they don't want this right because all these uh all these nations or whatever you know like they're for the new world order all right this is all just a show but these weapons are going to be used all right and um you know that that's why at the end of the day um their leaders you know and all that you know like they're gonna go into the bunkers all right they're gonna be hiding you know like from the laugh stuck because they're gonna be hiding from the wrath of the lamb who's gonna who's gonna deal with their case man all right and and there's gonna be nowhere to run nowhere to hide man you know um, that when the Lord comes, man. We, uh, you can get uh, Psalm, Psalm 68 or Psalm 60. Psalm 60. There's damn music. It's like Psalm 60 and uh, 8. Moab is my wash pot. Alright? So we know that the prophet uh, we know that um apostle tahar he was going into that man all right it's not talking about the actual wash pot all right when you know we know that chai we we know that these more bites and when you go to their restaurant that they like to uh you know they have all these uh what do you call it you know their like their buffets and all that stuff and basically you know this is basically when the lord come He's gonna wash, like he's gonna basically, he's gonna scour out, man. Like you know when you like scour like a pot, or whatever. When when you wash in a plate, or whatever. Yeah, that's what the Lord's gonna do, all right. And he's basically gonna, he's gonna dest he's gonna like destroy these Edomites, man, right here in America. All right, it says Moab is my wash pot, right? So a wash pot is like a utensil, right?
Sayer, so a pot utensil, um, utensil, pot of a temple, the thorn ho hook, briar thorn hooks, all right, and uh, we know that basically uh, this is all lining up with scriptures, you know, we know that uh, China, you know, or Asia, you know, they have a lot of influence, you know, like that's why they're able to basically survive, you know, and they're basically, uh, you know, they, they sell basically, they basically sell goods, you know, through America and certain parts and they make a lot of money, man, you know, and, um, you know, like that's why when this place is going to be ultimately like destroyed, you know, these nations, they're not going to be able to make that money anymore, man. You know, that all that stuff's going to come to a halt, man. You know, and like we're going to be the new, uh, you know, like taskmasters, right? Because this place is going to be ultimately destroyed. And we know that our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right, whom uh, everybody, you know, who uh, he, uh, he's gonna come back and he's gonna, you know, he's gonna set everything back in order. Second Ezra 16 and 1 Woe be unto thee, Babylon, all right, and Asia, right? So, this Babylon, we're not talking to uh, not talking about Iraq, we're referring to America, all right, and Asia, all right, because Asia, you know, especially China, they have a lot of influence, man, you know, you know, like mostly everything that we we have you know with um with like electronics a lot of a lot of different stuff you know uh clothing you know a lot of different goods you know they come from from asia man you know from china india you know from that whole you know from that whole side man that's why india is going to get involved too man because india they have the missiles too will be unto the Egypt and Syria. All right. So we know that uh, this place too, we're referring to Egypt as well. All right. And because um, right now, they're, it, it, like, these Egyptians don't really have no damn power any, any, anyway. And, you know, all they have is a damn temple. I mean, it is the, is the, um, you know, basically uh, like that, uh, uh, that the pyramid that, you know, that, that we built whatever it is the damn desert so we know that egypt referring to america and syria like syria ultimately like syria is already catching hell you know basically over 10 years ago there's a, a big big war over there and, and right now um a lot of people a lot of people are a lot of people left a lot of people left and came to america or wherever a lot of like a lot of the syrians already uh gone from syria and they're coming here to america or uh, canada or us or talking the uk gird up yourself with clo cl clothes of sackcloth and and hair. bewail your children and sorrow for your destruction is at hand all right because right now when um when this civil war is about with this civil war you know, World War Three and all hell's about to break loose, man. All right, that we see, uh, you know, we, that we see what's happening in in uh, Orlando and f in certain parts of Florida and stuff, man. So imagine when like there's a all out, no no power and not you know, no power, no food. You know, it's gonna get real. A sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back a fire is sent among you and who may quench it plagues are sent unto you and what is he that may drive them away may any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood or um, or may any one quench the fire in the stubble when it is that begin to burn May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. 
All right, so we know basically what's going to happen ultimately, right? When uh, you know when they you know because they already have these intercontinental intercontinental ballistic missiles, you know that that's going to be fired, you know, like when time is right, you know, for that um and I you know like for that special or or like for that particular hour day, right? It says it and think revelation, right? For the day, the hour. All right, and that day, not even the Lord, right? O only the Most High, He knows that day, that hour when this place is gonna ultimately be destroyed. All right, and um, you know, and like New Jerusalem, that being come down from heaven, you know, I'm, 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 I'm like when the Lord comes and establishes the kingdom, and He's gonna crown His elect, then. You know, and basically the Lord's gonna, um, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna establish back, uh, like Jerusalem or the new Jerusalem. That a shot of a strong archer, the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that may drive them away? All right, so yeah, let me, uh, let me get back to this. Council um, that goes so far. we has heard them before it won't have much effect the second is sanctions but North Korea is already one of the most heavily sanctioned countries on earth so that's unlikely and the third is talk whatever Kim Jong-un's intentions the outcomes already clear as the international community unites to condemn the action and Japan says it's consulting its allies on next steps Stephanie Prentice BBC News yeah, so we know that everything that's happening, it's already been written, all right? And uh, we, the prophets, we're here to warn and to um, basically to warn and to tell our people to repent and turn back to their ways, right? But our people don't want to turn back, you know, onto, uh, like, uh, onto the laws, statues, you know, and commandments to the best of our ability, right? So that's why the Lord's going to ultimately judge our people right because uh our people are very our people are rebellious man joel two and one blow ye the trumpet it's like it blow ye the trumpet in zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. All right, so we know that the day of the Lord cometh, right? And uh, it is very nigh. All right, and um, it's going to get very intense, you know. You know, um, I've seen what uh, Kim Jong-un and um, Vladimir, you know, he did his little, his, his little thing, you know, with his... Uh, his nuclear test, I think, a couple of days ago. Yeah, things are gonna get lot, lot, a lot more intense, man. So we gotta um, be uh, very grateful, you know, that we're in the truth, and um, you know, and, um, stay on watch, you know. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, all right. So that's why when the Lord comes, all right, it, he, like it's gonna be very gloomy, man. You know, because when the Lord comes or whatever, it's gonna come like a thief in the night, man. You know, the sky, you know, you, you, you know, certain parts of the world might have a, a a clear, bright day, and whatever. And then when the Lord comes, it's gonna be like he's gonna come like with his uh. He's gonna come in uh, in his clouds, right? With his big his big chariot. It's like Hebrews thirteen and one. You know when he basically uh, when you watch that movie Independence Day with Will Smith, basically of the 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 sh of the so called uh, the the UFO or the aerial phenomenon. Just like the aerial or the aerial like for phenomenal object 
you know the Lord's gonna come like a mountain man and he's gonna judge as the morning spread upon the mountains and of a great people and the strong there have not been even alike neither shall there be any more after it even to this year even to the year of many generations so when the lord comes right and you know when the nuclear the imf socket not the imf the inter intercontinental ballistic missiles are sh are shot off you know like wherever they are but especially here in america man it's gonna be very a uh, scary thing a fire devoured before them and behind them as a flame burneth the land is as the garden of eden it said before them right because you know that this place america was a miracle it was a what is it it was a, a very plush place man look at um on like niagara falls you know certain parts of uh you know america and certain you know it's a great place right but um you know you know but when the lord comes he's gonna ultimately destroy because this place has a lot of blood you know of the pro of the of our people man the land is at the garden of eden it said before them and behind them a desolate wilderness yea and nothing shall escape them so this is why like this place is ultimately going to be destroyed with nuclear f fire man and we're approaching these times and um you know so uh we gotta be prepared you know because there could be anything happen um there could be uh what do you call those uh missiles basically basically um you call that what do you call that one um so like, yeah. my my mind was kind of escaping the uh the word The EMPs, yeah, the into like what do you call it? The EMP, uh, let me get that. Stock, yeah. EMP, yeah, the EMP weapons. Okay, yeah, EMP weapons. When then, when then, in an EMP weapon, it's a produce a pulse of energy that creates a power powerful electromagnetic field capable of short circuiting a weapon a, a, like a wide range of electronic equipment um particularly computers satellites radios radio receivers even even like it's like a, it says even civilian traffic lights all right so we so anything could happen so we can't get comfortable in society you might have a brand new car you know and um uh, they say basically if you uh if you have like a older car like that's from like the 1980s possibly 90s or 70s 70s 80s 90s you know like 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 you could uh like you're gonna be able to basically like yeah like you could start up your car and you could you could drive but these old or these newer cars now anything could happen and you basically won't be able to uh like you won't be able to even uh start your car you, you, you like you probably you know you're you're on a highway the emp goes out you know everything goes down everything goes down you know and uh you know so you know like that could happen here or something but we know ultimately you know when that happens you know that means that uh basically world war three is uh is at the door we just a nuclear uh, thing with uh north korea russia See how close it is. See how close 
Russia and uh, Russia and the so-called uh, Alaska. What do you call it? The Arctic, right there. Alaska. See how close it is, right? Now? The Tampindo too. So they have uh, a lot of arsenal, man. See, it says uh, U.S. vulnerable to electromagnetic attack from. So you see, and that could happen, basically, you know. And that's what's gonna happen ultimately, all right? Um, you watch that movie. Uh, it's like a, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it's it War? No, it's not the War of the Worlds, but War of the Worlds is good. I think yeah, it's called the day the, it's called the day after. The day after is a very good uh, movie to watch, all right, because it basically shows you that scenario, all right, when uh, the EMPs go down, the EMPs goes down, all right, you you, know, you won't be able to. Everything goes down, the power, everything, cars, everything, all right, and uh, you're basically in a in a gridlock. And people have to run for cover. <laughs> so it's gonna get very real. And it's gonna come like a thief in the night, man. Alright, so the, the only hope that we have is that we could, you know, is that we're gonna be saved, you know, from this destruction, man. The parent of them is like is as the appearance of horses and the horsemen so shall they run like the noise of chariots on the tops of the mountains shall they leap like the noise of the flames of fire that devour the stubble so shall the people set in a battle array before their faces the people shall be much pain and all faces shall be gathered blackness so that's when this destruction comes you know people are going to be like destroyed man with fire all right they shall run to and fro all right so yeah all these buildings these high rises and these glasses you know when that nuclear blast you know that when the icbms are sent right and the nuclear like radiation you know, and, and the nuclear cloud, you know, all, like all these, uh, all these glasses and stuff, these are going to get broken and be shattered, man. Before their faces, the people shall be much pain and all faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the walls like men of war and all they shall march everyone on his on his way and they shall not break their ranks right so that's when talking about these um icbms right? right and they also have these uh these underground um like torpedo like these underground torpedoes that's going to be sent you know from their um their underwater from their uh like submarines and all that man so yeah we're approaching these times man and um you could feel it in the air you could feel that something's a brewing in the air neither shall one thrust another they shall walk everyone in his path and when they shall fall upon the sword when they shall fall upon the sword they shall not be wounded they shall run to and fro Yay. It says they shall run to and fro in the city. All right. So all these major cities through uh, America, you know, uh, Philly, you know, Chicago, Toronto, New, uh, you know, certain, you know, you know, there, you know, there's cities that's going to be basically like that's going to be targeted, you know, and, uh, you know, this place is ultimately going to be uh, completely wiped out. You know, and it's not, it's not we as the so-called uh, Israelites, right? Or it's like we are the Israelites. Going to say, I was going to say black, so-called black Israelite. No, 
this is not us saying it you know like this is the lord saying it all right and and and, and like you guys have this technology and this technology is going to be used they shall run to and fro in the city they shall run up the wall they shall climb up upon the houses they shall enter into the house at the windows like a thief all right so that's what's gonna happen man you know you know when people's trying to you know people's gonna be in murph or whatever you know and then you're gonna hear you know basically the uh the basically um the alarm you know that's gonna say you know it's, it's gonna say um that's gonna be warn the people and it, the the alarm is gonna say it's gonna say that this is a test no it's gonna say that this is not a test you know this is world war three you know that they're gonna say go to your place of shelter go to a bunker <laughs> whatever <laughs> you know you know but these people you, you, you like you're not gonna have nowhere to run man they shall climb up the they shall climb up up upon the houses they shall enter into the windows like a thief the air shall quake before them the heaven shall tremble the sun and the moon shall be dark and the stars shall withdraw from their shining room so yeah that's what's gonna happen this place is gonna be a a, a nuclear winter you know basically and um you know, because after that, after that destruction, right, there's going to be a very uh, dark, dark cloud, right? You know, after the smoke is clear. Um, yeah, I was going to, I'm going to get uh, Isaiah. Yeah, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of scriptures. I don't I didn't want. I went too long, anyways. This is all just in the spirit, you know. Uh, we're in that time. Um, yeah, it says uh, this is uh, CBC. All right, this is uh, Putin's threat. Have nuclear experts watching closely. It says. Uh, for now, analysts caution like it says like it says that suggests that the risk of Putin using the wor the world's biggest nuclear arsenal seems low. The CI this like the CIA says it hasn't seen signs of any immediate Russian nuclear attack. We don't see we don't see any on that pra on that practical evidence today in the U.S. intelligence community that he m moving closer to actual using no socket to actual use that there there's an an imminent threat of using tactical nuclear weapons cia director william burns told cbc news monday what we have to do is take it very serious watch and watch for signs of of actual watch for signs of actual it's like a watch for signs for actual preparation. It said nuclear strikes could turn Putin into global, uh, like a global, um, like parade. To like global parade. Let me, let me look at that word on that parade. Let's look at that word. What it entails. Array. It means outspoken, 
a member of a lower caste of Indian society, Tamil Pare, um, Herbert Dick, yeah, or Herderick, or like Hederiki, a drummer. All right, basically a drummer. All right. All right, and we're spiritually, uh, we're spiritually blowing the trumpet, right? Because uh, it already was written. It's a parade, a member of a lower caste in southern India, shunned of unclean from Portuguese, the parade, or from Tamil. It says, it says Dravidian, which they are Jakes. All right. All right, and uh, yeah, it says, uh, it says a plural of, of that parin, a drummer at a, f a festival. Uh, it said the Hadariki, that duty of member of the largest of lower caste of Southern India, right? With the basically like these are basically uh, the untouchables of India, right? Which uh, we're being oppressed, like the cities, the so-called Dravidi or the so-called Dravidians and whatever, the untouchables, right? Because they know who we are, so especially uh, numerous at Madr the Madras. Yeah. Um, It says, um, it says Kremlin's watch are scram are scratching their heads upon Putin's threat to use and to use all means at our disposal. In part, it said because they don't see how nuclear forces could greatly help reverse Russia's military losses in ukraine ukraine troops are using large large con concentration of tanks to rest back ground and combat is sometimes for a place as small as villages so what could russia nuclear forces aim for with winning with winning effect the backlash could also turn putin into the global into the global parade right but this is a drummer all right because this this you know because this thing's gonna be ultimately uh this thing's gonna be uh ultimately be, um it's gonna be kicked off you know when the lord's gonna basically uh he's gonna sound the trumpet all right, and the things are gonna get real. Let me get uh, yeah, I'm gonna get Isaiah twenty four. You can go, you can go get this Isaiah six twenty four sixteen. This whole chapter is very uh, very good because that's what's gonna happen. All right, and it's gonna get uh, it's gonna get a lot. It's gonna get intense here on this earth, man. Uh, Isaiah 24 and 19 the earth is utterly broken down the earth is clean dissolved the earth is moved exceedingly right because this you know these this thing's gonna get real all right the angels are gonna get involved you know these different nations that have the nuclear capability is gonna get involved and um it's gonna get real man basically um the people in power the elites and all that you know like they're gonna be hiding on their bunkers and stuff you know and uh, basically uh, uh, like when the smoke clears all right and basically uh america is ultimately going to be like totally like totally annihilated you know like on um, like that dust of the bible it says the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be 
removed like a cottage, and the transgression there shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high, so the elite bankers, all right, and the high one and the the kings of the earth upon the earth, right? So all these elite bankers, all these different nations, they have these kings or these these people, you know, like they're gonna be under their, you know, hiding, you know, from the wrath of the of the lamb, wrath of Yahweh, right? Because the Lord's gonna he's gonna come back with vengeance, man. All right, and and you know, and basically righteousness is gonna be established on the earth, you know. Just like the days of, uh, you know, of, uh, you know, King David, you know, and, and the days of Solomon, you know, it's going to it's going to go right back into those things. But basically, um, you know, the thousand years, all right, basically uh, the thousand years, this is, you know, that they're going to have to build up our kingdom, right? Anywhere we, we inhabit it, you know, th th that we're going to have with it. You know, like they're gonna build up, and basically, the the, the their so-called uh, Edomites, Idomians, you know, they're gonna be totally annihilated. You know, after the thousand years, all right, because we won't have a purpose for them, and they shall gather themselves together as prisoners are gathered together in a pit, and shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days shall they be visited. All right, so that's it. They're gonna be, uh, you know. When up the smoke's clear, you know, like the angels and the and the elect are gonna come down and they're gonna gather these elects or are these elite, the elites of Esau, and chain them and arrest them, you know, for their crimes what they have been uh, committing on the earth. All right, and we're gonna arrest them and yeah, thus serve the Lord, you know. You know when you watch that movie, The Planet of the Apes. You know, uh, the one from I think one from the nineteen sixties and nineteen seventies. The when you watch those ones, yeah, that's it, right? So uh, that's it, man. Like that's why uh, things are gonna get a lot more very uh, gloomy, man. You know, just that we have nothing to hit, to hide or fear. They shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered together in a pit and shall be shut up as prisoners. And after many days shall they be visited. They shall, said so the sun and the moon shall be, the sun and the moon shall be confounded and the sun ashamed when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion. So that's what this, this, this was all about. We know that our Lord, Yahweh Shai, all right, you know, you know, our Lord Yahweh Shai and his son, you know, the Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, King David, and the elect, you know, we're gonna be uh, sovereign again, man, and, and we're gonna, we're gonna, like, we're gonna rule in righteousness, man. All right, cause we're tired of this, this place, man, and um, we're broken. But with that, and, and in Jerusalem, and before his, Ancient glorious one. So with that, let's say I'll pray to do to you. How about Shem and Asher? Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. And uh, Shalom. I, I didn't want to go so long, but uh, it is what it is. Sometimes you got to do those ones. So with that, I'd like to say Shalom.